a bit worried, really. Yeah. You're not going to try the, uh, what was the total amount spent by Qatar on winning their bid? Oh. <laughs> Everything that we do really springs from what is the best way to, to make something. Everything that we're making to put into this book is all pointing in the same direction. We're not trying to force materials to do things they don't want to do. My responsibility is to devise the way we make the books. We chose the paper as Mohawk paper because Frankly, there's no better paper for printing because it's archival, it'll last for hundreds of years without fading, and also it has the most incredible eggshell finish. So having assessed the colour, having decided on it, we then print it, we PDF proof it, then the sheets come up to the bindery here, where they're cut and folded, they're sewn, and then they're glued, and then meanwhile the cases are made, the cloth's cut, wrapped around the boards, and I'm working here with a team both here and at the printers, who understand exactly what we're trying to do. Actually, you need to kind of clear people's minds of their preconceptions, clear out the clutter of what they just thought they had to have in order to discover what it is that they really want. As it happens, I think it's a very nice touch that our books both involve, you know, the very most modern equipment together with this very sort of hand craft industry that hasn't changed for you know, hundreds of years. All those pieces, all those pieces come together to make a very beautiful to hold book, but could you say why it's nice? It's quite difficult. It's, no, uh, it's not like a proper press where you, where you've got a brick book yeah. register. Yeah. They're, they're, they're a knockback register. Yeah. With gentle, it's a gentle push so as it goes through the press, I just don't think it's precise.